Hello and welcome to my channel. Today let's uh, find out how to predict alkene as an cis and trans or E and Z stereoisomers. So let's first write down the heading. How to predict alkene as cis and trans or E and Z stereo isomers. This is today's topic. Very interesting one as we are dealing with nowadays the isomerism and stereochemistry and stereo isomers and in my previous lectures I've explained uh, each and every uh, this uh, these terms so let's proceed further with this new topic today that how you can predict an alkene to as it can as it could be a cis and trans or e and z stereoisomers i'm professor dr moina after mughal from dr mekazi institute of chemistry university of saint jamshoro and i'm here again with a very interesting topic so let's start there are two methods There are two methods. The first method, now first I'll explain you the first one. The first method could be what it could be. The first method is is to simply imagine or reciprocate ex or exchange or swap any of the two substituents connected to both of the carbons of the double bond now here in our case we are talking about a compound named as 3 methyl 2 pentene we are discussing 3 methyl 2 pentene So I'll draw the structure so that we'll be following uh, what I'm, I've just said. That there are two methods to predict alkene as cis and trans or EZ stereoisomers. The first method simply says us to simply, I mean, imagine. That is uh, number one, either imagine or reciprocate. Reciprocate or simply, you can simply say exchange exchange or swap that is the best term i think swap swap means interconvert interchange convert them right swap them this is called swapping so if you swap the two substituents any of the two substituents connected to both of the carbons of the double bond right so i simply write it swapping swap any of two substituents two substituents connected to I'm writing it because uh, when you will uh, read it you will understand more easily what I mean to say so connected to both the to both the carbons of double now these two lines they represent a double bond a double bond double bond both carbons of the double bond that is the groups that are attached there if you simply swap them that are connected to the both the carbons of the double bond this is one of the methods so uh, now by doing so what will happen we will simply get two results by doing that we are going to get again two results by doing so by swapping the groups we are going to get two results what are those two results let's find out that now ok 
okay let's draw the molecule first H and again a CH3. So this is your compound we are mentioning today. This is 3 methyl 2 pentane. Um, now you can simply number. Of course, we are going to number the carbons from the end where the double bond is near, right? According to our IUPAC rules. So this is carbon number two, carbon number one, this is carbon number two. This is three, four, and five. I'm uh, writing all these things clearly for all those newcomers, beginners, who are a little bit weaker in the nomenclature, so they will be able to understand also how you to name them when you have a double bond and you have a substituent also. We have a methyl substituent because you are going to select the longest chain. So this is the longest continuous chain, chain having a double bond and a methyl group. So now from where to start? Of course, we are going to start from the end from where the double bond is near, but the substituent will be named first. That is, for example, the name of the compound is 3-methyl, 2 pentene you are going to name it like i will just show you 3 methyl that is this methyl right 3 methyl then a dash 2 pentene this is how you are going to name it this is the name of the compound so now uh, according to our prediction, our, I mean, statement, we are simply going to swap the two groups that are attached. Now, what, which groups are going to be swapped or interchange or uh, reciprocate or um, simply exchange? These are all the same terms uh, and they have the same, I mean, meanings. So you can use any of them, but the most proper term is uh, uh, interchange or swapping the compounds. So let's swap the compounds. Which uh, let's swap the group substituents. Which which groups we are going to swap? These circled groups. Okay, I am going to circle it with a red marker so that it will be easier for you to understand how you are going to what you are going to get when you will. Uh, I mean, you will interchange the two circled groups. So I will now put a long arrow and I will going to write it down interchange interchange circled circled groups right interchange circles groups in which groups these two circled groups will be interchanged they will be swapped they will be I mean one will go to to its place this one to this place and this one will come to this place right what you are going to get here the resultant molecule the molecule which you are going to get here what you are going to get let's see that okay so what you are going to get here is like this if you interchange the two groups you are going to get this will go there that's this one over here so it would be like ch3 CH2, CH3, and this side would be the same. That is H and CH3. This is you are going to get. Now, what is happening here? You have swapped these two. These two groups are swapped. They are interchanged. So, what you are going to get? You are going to get this molecule over here. You can see, have a close look of the molecule which you are going to get okay fine this much glimpse is enough now by doing so we are going to get the two results the resultant molecule is giving us two indications what either number one what would be that the either this resultant molecule either this resultant or molecule or associated 
This is the resultant molecule. This is the resultant molecule. So now either this resultant molecule uh, will be identical, identical, that is, of course, same. Either this, either this molecule, this uh, resultant molecule will be identical to this first one after interchanging uh, the two circled groups, right? <clears throat> that is same. You can call it same. Identical means same as the original one. Or you can call it superimposable. That it, all the groups, they are aligning together. All the groups are aligning on one, on one another as my hands are aligning one on top of other in this way they are aligning right this way they are aligning you can see right but if you simply put the reflection of your left and right hand over left hand it won't coincide this is this is not superimposable right so this is what they are saying i just again repeated what is superimposable and what is non-superimposable so either uh, there are two cases now as i've just mentioned the first one is uh, now we are first discussing with this first one that the resultant molecule after the interchange of these two groups it would be either uh, identical or same or superimposable or super imposable superimposable now we come to the second option or our second option what could be the second option now or the second option would be after the interchange of these two groups the second option would be it would be different that is uh, of course a stereoisomer it would be different this resultant molecule would be different from this one that, that means it would be a stereoisomer if it's different that means it's a stereoisomer so second option is it's a different molecule different that corresponds to what of course a stereoisomers stereoisomer <clears throat> now why a stereoisomer because of the similar connectivities now they have the similar connectivities you can see of course a methyl group then this group then this methyl then hydrogen again here you can see they are connected in the same way the connectivities are almost the same right but they are the same connectivities are the same so why they are as they are called a stereoisomers because of the similar connectivities why stereoisomers because of similar similar connectivities connectivities now let's draw to follow and then of course i've drawn now let's i will show you the models now on the models i'm going to show you how i have interchanged um the circled group that is these two groups how these were uh, interchanged and then of course after interchanging uh, you are going to get a different molecule that is of course a stereoisomers right so that is some of the groups they fail to align now how they are if you superimpose them they are going to they will fail to align now what is that i mean uh, exactly how it looks like i will show you with the help of the molecular models which i have uh, prepared uh, just now for you people i have a molecular model in my hand now here and here also these two molecular models now let me let me show you how to first of all i will show you the first one which is of course the this one right uh, before the interchanging of the groups right this is the methyl same methyl group the methyl group here right this is a methyl group and a methyl group this is a hydrogen a hydrogen yes of course a hydrogen then you have a now i will place it like here you have a double bond a double bond you can see a double bond here right a double bond Mm. there it is a double bond then of course a carbon the second carbon first says first carbon and the second carbon right second carbon and then of course a ch2 this is ch2 ch2 and ch3 and of course a methyl group here so ch2 here you can see ch2 ch3 and of course a methyl group here so this is this this compound now look at the connectivities right now I'm going to interchange the two groups. That means this methyl will go there and this group will come down. Interchange. Swap. I'm going to swap them. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm um, as I have just mentioned here let's let's interchange or uh, reciprocate or exchange or swap the molecules right the molecules that are circled molecules that is this one this this one CH2 CH3 and of course the methyl group that is this one so if you swap these two that means this will come to this position and this one will come to this position this one this group CH2 CH3 it will come to this position that is this this side and this will go to this position at this so I will show you how it will look like now this is the molecule here I have swapped now just see after swapping right you can see a methyl group here and of course <clears throat> so you have seen uh, of course this group that is CH2 CH3 group it comes down and this one goes up that is over here you can simply see the double bond they have been swept now they have been swept this is the this structure the resultant structure this is this this structure now you can compare the structure easily you can see now these are this is the same methyl group then hydrogen there it is and then of course uh, this methyl group that is at the top and of course this group over here that is ch2 ch3 right now after interchanging the two groups you can simply see that they have become they are completely different they are it's totally different from the first first one how it is different now you are going to we are going to now this was the first molecule right and after interchanging uh, the groups that is this group and the methyl group you got the resulting compound that is this one which i am showing you here right the right one this is the resultant right and this is the original molecule and this is the resultant molecule so now if i superimpose them why i call it stereoisomer why i call it a different molecule they are not i mean uh, they have the similar connectivities of course that's why they are called stereoisomers but if you simply because uh, why they are not i mean um, uh, aligning let's let this let's try to align them okay methyl group and a methyl group yes it's aligning a hydrogen and a hydrogen it's aligning okay then the double bonds and the carbons they are aligning fine now what about this methyl group and this group look at here they fail to align just see a methyl group and an ethyl here this ethyl group they fail to align right and over here also what you have a ch2 group sorry a ethyl group and a methyl group so these two groups they fail to align these two groups that is this one this one and of course this one so they are not superimposing right they are not superimposing rest of the molecules are were same of course this this methyl this methyl yes this hydrogen this hydrogen but uh, this molecule uh, after i mean these uh, the double bonds the carbon having these two double bonds they are these groups attached to the, this carbon these carbons they are not aligning they are not superimposable right so now what is happening here that of course uh, when they say when these groups they fail some of them are failing to align right we call them different molecules we call them stereoisomers now here is as the above alkene now can present itself as uh, cis and trans or e and z stereoisomer now they are representing them as cis trans or um, cis or trans or you can call it e and z stereoisomers right so both now what is happening now both of these carbon atoms right the carbon of the double bonds that is this one the both the carbons of the double bonds um what they have specific names what are they call they are called stereocenters what now what is a stereocenter a stereocenter these two carbons are the stereocenters or stereogenic centers now what is a stereocenter it's an atom whereby exchanging or swapping the two groups gives a stereoisomer so yes we have swapped the groups and it gives us a stereoisomer it becomes a stereoisomer so both these carbons are stereogenic centers or stereocenters both these carbons they are stereogenic centers that is the, these this, these two carbons they are the stereogenic centers or stereocenters right these are the stereocenters or stereogenic centers so this is again a new term you have learned a stereocenter or a stereogenic center 
Now let's discuss the second case. The second case. What is that? I just mentioned it to you. What is a stereocenter? What is a stereogenic center? It was simply what it was. It was simply that um, if you simply um, uh, you can call it if an atom you is a stereocenter that if you exchange or swap the two groups, uh, it gives you a stereoisomer. So it gives us a stereoisomer in the first case. Now we are discussing the second case, which is the opposite of the first case. So what could be that one? So let me draw the structure first for you people to follow. Let me draw. Okay, so this is the compound, right? Now, let's interchange or swap. Interchange or swap. Swap the circled molecules. So circled uh, substituents, these ones. What you're going to get? You're going to get, of course, Hydrogen, methyl, again a methyl, and of course a methyl here. Okay, now what are these two? What are these two telling us? These are the identical molecules. By interchanging the circled uh, groups, we got the identical molecules. These two molecules are identical. These are identical. Well, okay. So now, though by looking at the molecule on the right, it does not look identical to the one on the left. But in reality, they are. They are identical molecules. And um, I will uh, simply show you by making a molecular model so that you, I can uh, show you the atoms if they are aligning, if they are superimposed by, um, by, uh, by atom for an atom. Okay, so let's make the molecular model and let's see if this is happening or not. If they are uh, in reality the identical molecules or not by interchanging the two or by simply swapping, swapping the groups, we are going to get the stereogenic centers or not. Stereocenters or not, we will see right now. So these are the two models. Now after the swapping of the groups, I have, I, I have just prepared this molecule. This is the same two groups. Now after the swapping, now we have seen that they are identical by looking at the molecular models. We have seen that they are all, all identical and they, they are similar molecules. That is, they can be superimposed atom to atom. Now because of this, no, uh, because of these, uh, I mean, uh, there's that none of the two carbons of the double bond, that is these two carbons of the double bond, here as these two of the double bond carbons of the double bond these two car the carbons are still are uh, simply as uh, are supposed to be stereocenters so now they are not at all you know stereocenters because of course they are identical molecules so they are not at all possessing the stereogenic um, part right that is missing in it so what i meant to say is simply that none of the two carbons of this double bond uh, in this alkene are stereocenters none of them is a stereocenter right no stereocenter these these no stereocenters centers right so because as exchanging the groups at each carbon, when you exchange the groups at each carbon, uh, it results into the same structure. It results, it, has, it gives us the same structure, which I've just shown you. So this was something very interesting today. And uh, I have explained you the difference between the two, I mean, the first case and the second case in which uh, the by exchanging the groups, you got a stereoisomer, whereas here you didn't got a stereoisomer as the groups, they, they are all aligning. 
So uh, today we have learned, today you have learned about uh, many things like uh, of course uh, why how to predict alkene as cistrons or is it a stereoisomer right in the first as i've shown in my first case right and of course then afterwards uh, and i showed you how it you you can find out the stereo centers what is a stereo center right right i've uh, explained you why you call it a stereo center um and if someone asks you is it a stereo center or a stereogenic center you can call it stereo center or a stereogenic center it's one and the same same thing that uh, of course what it is that by exchanging or swapping the two groups gives a stereoisomer so both these carbons are called the stereogenic center but not in this case the case that uh, that was discussed earlier right this is not the case so i hope you have understood and now uh, in the next video i will come with something new something more interesting about uh, uh, stereochemistry uh, which I will find it more interesting for you so I hope you like this video and you will uh, learn you have learned a lot how these how to look at these connectivities and how originally the molecule looks like right and how to align them and how to see if they are having the same connectivities and what's a stereoisomer what's uh, I mean uh, and, and what is not at all uh, I mean have what is a stereogenic center what are stereogenic centers so i hope this you like this video and you will um, learn it and you will share it among your friends and you will compare it with your notes your uh, handbooks whatever you have been provided with and you will learn from it so see you back again with something more interesting and new thank you very much hope to see you again bye bye so this is also fun to i mean reassemble back the barns and the things back to their packages this is also interesting for my students to see how much uh, i mean uh, work is done behind the scenes right so these are all the things that i'm now doing behind the scenes disconnecting the atoms and putting them back to their different four boxes as the, these four box this box is very precious to me so now putting off the hydrogens this is fun like thing but i thought i must show you that this is also part of this video that i have to uh, i mean disconnect all the bondings and i have to put back all the things to where they belong to the the all the bonds see right In these bonds they are not difficult to disconnect i mean but yes this is also part of the game so you should know that what is going on behind the scenes this is also very interesting why should someone not show you people you should see how your teacher is i mean fully committed to you people right how our teacher is is i mean with the help of its molecular models how your teacher is letting you see each and everything oh this is a, such a beautiful double bond i don't want to disconnect it but i have to disconnect it because they will uh, i mean no more be in their correct shape see they are now a little bit curved as double bonds are a little bit curved see they are they are difficult to break so that's why i need to make them a little bit more straighter so they should look good they are simply not looking that good now the next one yes so i hope you like this part of the video also <laughs> and you'll see that dr moina dr m cam is now disconnecting all the bonds and how it is done and nobody's helping her <laughs> this is the most important part I have to do everything on my own and this is what you should be like do a, try to do everything with your own beautiful hands this is it and the hydrogen atoms here they go back to where they belong to just like the people they will simply vanish when their work is over when they are goal is achieved they simply vanish from that place you forget the people whom they were connected to once right so this is the same thing how the bondings are disconnected right see how easily the bonds can be broken 
<laughs> this is how it is i hope you like this part of the video also and now i will put back the things where from where they belong to and you can see here these barns the shorter ones and the double barns i'm putting them back to their origin from where they and i'm going to count them also as well because this is also a very important part i don't want to lose do not want to lose them so i need to count them i'll count, the, count them afterwards if i do not miss any more no because you know this this package as i've told you it's very precious to me so this is done it's back to its place now the white ones the hydrogens they are I will collect them and I will put them back from where they came from back to your home come on here they are again back to where they belong to there they go so done with the hydrogens now of course the small ones I mean, it's not the small ones, the large ones, they're carbons, the most important ones. So let me put back the carbons. Here they go. So there we are. I'm done with the packaging. I hope you like this part of the video also. And you will see that how your teacher is assembling everything back to its normal place. This is done. Thank you very much.